local leaders and statewide advocacy groups are speaking out about the temporary block on a law that would ban gender affirming care for transgender minors in Ohio. It also prohibits some transgender athletes from competing on sports teams that align with their gender identity. The news reporter Grace Hewitt joins us live in the studio with what is next for that bill. Grace. This isn't the first time the bill has been blocked. Governor Mike DeWine vetoed this legislation, but the state house overrode that veto. Soon after, the American Civil Liberties Union of Ohio filed a lawsuit against the state. Both sides of the issue say they're fighting to protect children and families. House Bill 68 would prohibit Ohio Children's Hospitals from providing hormone replacement and puberty blockers to transgender minors. The health care piece of the legislation gaining national attention over the course of its journey in the state house, including the American Civil Liberties Union. The organization's Ohio branch going as far to file a civil rights lawsuit against the state. While supporters and opposition of the law feel differently about a Franklin County judge's temporary block, they agree this battle is not over yet. At the end of the day, we know that House Bill 68 is constitutional and we're confident that it's going to become law here in the state of Ohio. It's a temporary pause, but um, it's very meaningful because it means that the judge believes that we have a likelihood um, at succeeding um, on our one of our claims. There is currently a two week hold on House Bill 68, preventing from becoming law next week. Proponents of the legislation say it is meant to keep children and families safe, but the ACLU says it could end up causing harm. It certainly is doing the opposite. It purports to protect children, but what it does is it takes away the possibility of families, parents and children making their own determinations of what medical care is appropriate for them. I've seen this happen in other states where the lower courts will uh find against us or they'll put on a stay and then it moves up to an upper court until it just finally gets to the court of final authority and that's where we went. This is a marathon. This is not a sprint. We knew that from the day we first introduced the bill and we're going to keep fighting for kids. The athletic piece of House Bill 68 only prohibits transgender women and girls from competing on women's sports teams in public school leagues up to collegiate. At this time, it does not impact transgender men and boys who want to compete on men's teams. Despite the block, the bill's sponsors say the legislation is constitutional and aims to make sports fair for women and girls. But advocacy groups disagree. I think that will move forward very quickly because the bottom line is that women should compete on a level playing field and it's unsafe and it's unfair for a biological male to compete in female only sports. The Ohio High School Athletic Association and the NCAA already regulate trans athlete participation in sports. So this is just, I mean, redundant is the nicest word I could use, but um, the probably the more honest word is that it's unnecessary. A Franklin County judge ruled on the two week block yesterday and could place another hold on House Bill 68, depending on how long the investigation into the case takes. In studio, Grace Hewitt, 2 News.